Hi my dear children, welcome to this session. In this session, we will learn how to write a description. Description is a major discourse. And while writing description, we have to understand lot of things to write it. Here, let us know that why do we write description. We write descriptions to describe settings, we write descriptions to describe a scene and we write to describe qualities of a person or an object or the thing or we can describe the quantity of the so called person or object or a thing as well as we can describe a process of work or experiment or the recipe of a food. Now let us know the features of the description. Dear children, we have to follow these features. Number one, description of setting or scene or person or object or the thing. Number two, use the action words in the sentence. Number three, give an opinion or conclusion or suggestion etc. Fourth one, Create vivid images. You have to create vivid images. After that, fifth one, you have to use variety of sentence forms. And the sixth one is you have to maintain proper sequence of the ideas. After that, the next one, you have to use appropriate cohesive devices. Now, dear children, let us see this description. First of all, you have to write a heading called description after that you have to put a proper tag or the heading to the description that you are writing now let us see this picture let us describe this picture let's start this is a picture of a powerful boy he is looking very happy and enjoying his flight by sitting on blue colored flying pencil over the sea the nature around him is extreme beautiful many books are arranged beside the sea the numbers are flying joyfully behind him. The letters are also following those numbers in zigzag way. He is feeling proud of his famous flight. I think that the boy is enjoying the sweetness of the education and became as the powerful boy. So, in this way, we can describe a picture. My dear children, did you observe that what did I do in describing this picture? If you observe properly about the first paragraph of this picture description, you will clearly understand. The first paragraph is about the setting or the scene. And the second paragraph is the action that is taking place in the scene. And the third thing is the conclusion that has been given by me. So by these three things, scenic details, action details and the conclusion we can easily describe the picture description not only picture description we can describe everything following these easy tips now let us see some more sample descriptions which were written by some of my students see here is a beautiful description written by a group of students let me read this a beautiful picture this is a dreaming picture of a boy. It is looking colorful. There is a pencil in curved shape and blue in color. A boy is sitting on the pencil and flying in the sky joyfully. Letters and numbers are following behind the pencil. There are books and another pencil beside the sea. I think he is imagining flying in the sky. So this is one model and let us see another model. Dear children, this is about the describing a character. Now let us see how to describe a character. Here the children of a group described about Ben's character from the dear departed. He is more selfish. He wants all the property of Abel Merriweather. He wants insurance money of his father-in-law. He loves money. He feels very greedy. He has bad qualities. He has no kindness. He did not cry when his father-in-law did. So this is a sample for describing a character of a person. Now let us see the thoughts, how to describe the thoughts of a person. In your journey lesson, father had some thoughts in his mind and son has some thoughts in his mind. 
and those thoughts were not given in the textbook now let us see how to write thoughts if you are asked to write the thoughts of a father or a son from the lesson called journey you have to understand how to write it you have to know that how to write the thoughts so here we go with the thoughts of uh, father and son first let's go with the thoughts of father see here father's thoughts oh my dear son you never understand me i will care you i miss you my dear son it's not a problem to carry your trunk my son i can do anything for you my dear son so in this way we can write the feelings of the father now let us look at son's thoughts i am so lazy dad i cannot do any work if there is any labor to carry trunk my father would not carry it i never wanted to carry my trunk with you dad oh why i am physically useless my father is stronger than me but he is old how badly i am giving trouble to him so in this way we can describe the thoughts of a person okay children i hope that you understood how to write a description